This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 12, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up 0.72 points or 0.17% to 414.16. However, total trade volume was down to a very light 59,944 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 317.1 million Khmer Real or roughly 77,200 US dollars. On the main board, only CAM GSM was up by 0.84% or 20 real to 2,410 real per share. The rest of the main board was either down or flat. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was the biggest loser of the day, down 3.11% or 520 real to 16,200 real per share, followed by Pestec Cambodia, which was down 2.04% or 50 real to 2,400 real per share. Other stocks on a downward trend were Grand Twins International, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, and MJQ Education. Three stocks, the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, Akleda Bank, and the Scenicville Autonomous Port remained flat. Over on the growth board, DVD Engineering was up 0.48% or 10 real to 2,090 real per share, while JS Land was down 1.92% or 70 real to 3,570 real per share. DBD Engineering recorded the highest trade volume of the day with 16,889 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 35.1 million real or 8,500 US dollars, equivalent to 21% of total shares traded on July 12th. Following in second was Akleda Bank with 15,996 shares changing hands at a total value of 120.3 million real or 29,300 US dollars, making up around 20% of Friday's total trade volume. In other market-related news, Confluence has released its 2024 Consumer Report for the Cambodian market in partnership with Standard Insights, covering a range of Cambodian consumer preferences and perspectives. The report is based on an online survey conducted in March 2024 that accrued over 500 responses. The report found that one of the leading financial priorities across all demographics in Cambodia is paying off debt, with more than a third of respondents indicating so. Unfortunately, an overwhelmingly small number of respondents stated that they had any interest in stocks or funds, making up less than 5% of the survey sample. In terms of spending habits, nearly half of all respondents suggested that they have no travel plans as they tighten purse strings and express an anxious outlook on the financial climate. On dining in particular, fewer respondents reported dining out or ordering from fast food restaurants, and overall there were strong indications that respondents wanted to reduce spending on dining, high-end retail, specialty foods, as well as leisure activities, with the data reflecting an overarching willingness to reduce expenses on a range of sectors. On the flip side, educational services, health and wellness, and home improvements showed the strongest growth areas for where consumers want to increase spending. The Khmer real to US dollar was unchanged at 4,110 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 104.36. Oil prices rose on Friday amid signs of easing inflationary pressures in the United States, the world's biggest oil consumer, with Brent crude peaking above 86 US dollars, though it was still set for a weekly decline. Brent crude futures rose 72 cents or 0.8% to 86.12 US dollars a barrel. Gold prices edged lower on Friday but were headed for a third straight week of gains as cooler than expected U.S. inflation data boosted hopes of the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates in September. Spot gold slipped 0.2% at 2,409.19 U.S. dollars per ounce after rising 2% on Thursday. U.S. gold futures eased 0.3% at 2,414.10 U.S. dollars. Futures tied to the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100 indices paused near record levels on Friday ahead of results from JP Morgan, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo that will throw second quarter earnings season into high gear. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, Dow was up 0.1% while S&P 500 and Nasdaq remained just about flat. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodian market update for July 12th. Have a great weekend!